across the border with uh, very few issues. We have, um, we do have our dog with us, so we were required to have his rabies vaccination. We had all of our passports ready, and she asked about firearms, alcohol, um, uh, yeah. what else? That was about it, tobacco, yeah. marijuana, Yep. things like that. We told yep. them we did have a little alcohol because we're in our camper, so wine's always a must. And <laughs> Um, she didn't have a problem with that and just said, okay, we'll have a good day and sent us on our way. And then from there, we went to uh, Prince of Wales. Yep, we dro drove through Waterton National Park and then into Waterton Park um, City, which is where the Prince of Wales Hotel is. Yeah, which is beautiful. So it's so pretty. amazing. I mean, we thought we were done with prettiness from Glacier. Um, and then we just went to a whole nother part of a beautiful park. The, the Waterton Lake area is just, it's gorgeous. It's definitely another bucket list item. Mm -hmm. um, if you make your way to Glacier, make sure and hit Waterton Parks as well. It is worth the drive over. Um, it it was is. $15 Canadian to get in. So that's right now with the exchange rate, that's like $11 US. Yeah. Um, so not a big deal at all. Nope. And there was a campground in there too that had an yeah. amazing, amazing view. And that was like $20 a night uh, American. Yep. Uh, but with no hookup. But still, your views were pretty dang nice. Uh, we didn't end up staying the night, but um, just because it was still early. So we kind of walked around the town for a little bit. water, all that stuff. Um, Pincher Creek isn't much of a tourist destination. There are a few highlights that we found, but nothing that um, really sparked our interest. Yeah, we didn't think the kids would like it. I think it's yeah. got a historical um, area, but I don't think the kids would have liked it. So Yeah, there was a museum, but same thing. Yeah, not really what we were looking for. Um, so we basically just slept there for the night. Um, we uh, got up had kind of a bit of a lazy morning in the camper and then yeah. um, drove on through to Lethbridge. Yep. Well, um, before we headed out, we found Tim Hortons. Yep, hung yeah. out with Tim Horton. Um, That's a must. Got some coffee <laughs> and the kids got some donuts. We're here in Lethbridge after driving around for a while. Um, we found this big, big bridge. What is that, Radley? And this guy is excited. What are you going to see? 
Mama. Say choo choo train. Choo yeah. train. Yeah. Are we, are hopefully. Are we looking at the choo train bridge? So this is a, a famous Mama. bridge. Okay. It's really Mama. really long. When we first got here, that the train actually drove through, um, so we we missed it being yeah. this close. So um, we saw it from the freeway way over yeah. yonder. And so we're hoping that it comes Mama, back through so that the kids can Mama, see it, especially being this close. Let me, let me show you guys. And there's a two-train bridge. Yeah, Mama. Okay. And there's a two-train bridge. Yep. You guys are telling us what everything is over here? Yeah. So what do you think about this, Riker? Good. Did you just climb up your mountain? You've been wanting to climb up forever. I need a hug. Alright. Yeah. Oh. oh, and then the other yeah. kid. Oh. Yeah, there's that one. What does the choo-choo train say? Choo choo! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chugga chugga choo choo! Chugga chugga choo chugga 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 So we're here in the city of Lethbridge still. Um, we ended up staying in a Walmart parking lot. Um, it was fine. It went well. It was free, so that was really nice. Um, we thought there was some sketchy stuff going on, but I don't think there was. Um, so now we're here at the visitor center. We found they have potable water, they have rinsing water, and they have a dump station. Um, so on these trips that like we're gonna make a big long trip today. Um, it's really nice to just fill up our tanks right now and actually shower and do all of our dishes and do everything here so then we can dump everything so that way when we travel we can have mostly empty tanks just leave a little bit of water in our fresh water. Um, we found that that is the easiest way to travel is with empty tanks. So we try to do all of that um, when we have a sewer hookup or a place to dump or get water. So anyway, Lethbridge was really pretty. It's a nice area. Um, it's windy place here. There was thunderstorms, stuff like that. But um, now we're heading on to Medicine Hat. sleeping so we are going to take a minute to recap our Canada trip. We yeah. have spent the last um, few days traveling across the country. We are just about to hit the border into North Dakota. Um, our journey started in Waterton Lakes uh, National Park which is the northern part of Glacier. Um, so last week we showed you guys our video of our time in Glacier and this week we showed you our trip across Canada. So we hope you enjoyed all of the really beautiful sights. Um, Waterton Lakes was absolutely gorgeous. We went to the Prince of Wales um, Hotel and uh, walked around the city down by the lake. Um, we both really enjoyed that. That yeah, was, it was, it was breathtaking. Yeah. Was, you know, we thought Glacier was pretty. This was also pretty. I mean, equally the same, but it was amazing. Yeah. So um, we just made Waterton a really quick stop along the way. Um, we originally planned to stay there a couple nights, but we were kind of anxious to get um, headed towards family and, and make our way across Canada. We didn't want to feel rushed with um, driving too long a distances each day. Um, so we made a few more stops and um, we really just traveled through farm country. There wasn't a ton of huge tourist attractions. Um, but my favorite part about traveling across Canada was all the quirky 
little tourist stops. Yeah, those were cool. They were yeah. fun too, and I think the kids liked them too. Yeah, so a few of them we knew about and planned on, um, and the rest of them we didn't. Um, so we saw a little, not little, a very large pinto bean mm -hmm. statue in some random town. largest teepee. It was crazy windy there. Like the kids were could hardly stand up. Yeah, they almost blew away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was interesting. Hi. Hi. World's largest teepee here. Hi. Medicine hat. Alberta. Getting on there. Hi. It is huge and it's crazy windy too so i don't know if you can even hear us but it's worth a shot big big teepee um we also found um what else did we the find salt that we just recently found the salt yeah we or, were just driving along salt? and all of a sudden we just saw white everywhere it looks like snow banks and so um we did some quick research and realized that um it was a salt mine there was just like this random location. I don't even remember the name of the town. Um, and they had like a campground and everything. It didn't yeah. even show up on any of the maps we were, we were looking at, so. The, the rivers were feet of, it looked like yeah. ice to us, because yeah. it was like cut through um, about like a foot or more of this salt. I mean, it was just white. There wasn't anything else in it, so. I it was, thought it was ice for a while, and yeah. we checked the temperature. There was no way it could be ice. It was just, weird. Yeah, it was very random. So that was yeah. fun to find. in Moose Jaw and we saw a huge airplane statue and a giant moose. Mac the Moose. Yep, Mac the Moose in Moose Jaw, Canada. Yeah. The kids were excited about the plane. They didn't care so much <laughs> about the moose. <laughs> As we were driving, we saw this really old church building that looks like it's about ready to fall down. So um, Josh got a cool shot of that with his camera. That was pretty. Yeah. So um, yeah, what was your favorite part about Canada? Uh, my favorite part, which we've been to Canada before, so um, I was really looking forward to Tim Hortons. <laughs> uh, they have pretty good coffee. I mean, it's okay coffee, but it's like the Canadian thing to do. It's I think it's the Canadian Starbucks. Or or kind of like a Dunkin' Donuts. Maybe Dunkin' Donuts. Because they sell um, donuts as well. Really good donuts. The kids got to pick out their own donuts. Loved it. So, of course, they chose sprinkles. Yeah, yeah. It was a mess, but they were really, really happy to eat that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's probably my favorite. And the quirky stuff, too. But yeah. Um, there's one complaint that we did have um, about Canada, which has been frustrating. Yesterday was frustrating, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so right. we've been posting videos every Wednesday for Where We've Been Wednesday. And for those of you that have been following us and have subscribed to our channel, um, know that last week's Wednesday video did not happen. Happened on a Thursday morning. <laughs> we searched and searched and searched for internet. We tried finding internet cafes. We were willing to pay anything. Um, and we just, they don't exist. No. No. And, and it was a long video. Yeah, it, it was, was a big one. Glacier was amazing. We, I couldn't stop recording. Yeah. We're taking pictures. So 
it was a long one, but man, we we looked everywhere, and every and there was a few that were free. But the second you start uploading a video, it cut you off. So yeah, um, we think that they might have just had some caps or um, would say, you know, you can download stuff, but you can't upload things. I don't know. But we did get yeah. lucky. Um, we stayed in a Walmart parking lot last night, and there was a big tire store across the street. Canadian, Canadian Tire. tire. Um, you saved us. Thank you, Canadian Tire. Yeah, they had okay internet. It wasn't very great, but we were able to upload through the night, and uh, it worked through. Yeah, so we got it posted. Um, hopefully this, this week's video will be a little easier to get published. Yeah, we're going back to America right now. But also, another thing that, now that I remember, I really liked how clean Canada is. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, every few, I don't know, 20 miles, I don't know how many kilometers, um, but they have recycle pull-offs and garbage pull-offs. So, if you have garbage, you can just pull over and just throw it away and continue back onto the highway. So, it was not out of the way. It was just really, really easy. And then also a lot of the visitor centers have dump stations yep. and uh, garbage that they'll take there too. And also gas stations, the co-ops. Yep. Um, a lot of them were RV friendly. So Yeah. So if you're RVing through Canada, look for information centers and co-op gas stations. Yeah. Um, very travel friendly in Canada. Yeah. 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 That was really nice. So It's just such a clean country. And... Um, yeah, like you just don't see a lot of littering. We went through, I don't know how many larger cities, I, I'm not sure on huge populations, but 10,000 plus people for multiple cities. And you like really don't see any garbage. No, so. it was awesome. Yeah, it I was really very refreshing. America could take some tips from Canada. Yeah, garbage <laughs> pull-offs everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and recycling. Everything is recyclable. Yeah, you pay, you pay a fee if you take a bag. Yep, so like plastic garbage bag or plastic grocery bags at the store. Yeah. You pay like five Canadian cents um, for every bag you use. Yeah, water bottles, right? Yep, you pay for plastic water bottles. Yep. So, a little yeah. encouragement yeah. to not yeah. use it or bring it. I mean, because there was a couple times I'm like, mindful. I don't want to use a bag because yep. I'm trying to save a few cents here. So. <laughs> yes, we're on a very tight budget. <laughs> 